Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. It's that time again. It's time when we make some coffee. I know, I know. Hard to believe we're going to make some coffee. But we're going to take a look at a new product. It's the GSI Coffee Percolator. Stay tuned. We're going to check it out. Thanks for watching. So let's talk a little bit first about how a percolator works. Percolator just means that you're going to repeatedly expose the water in your percolator to coffee beans. Now the way this works, this is a percolator, okay? Inside, you're gonna find this. This sits inside of the percolator itself. Hot water gets drawn up through this little tube and flows out over the top of this basket and down back into the vessel. Coffee grounds are in here. You're constantly moving the coffee, constantly moving the water up through the tube and down through, constantly exposing it to more and more grounds. That's the percolation process and that's how these work. Now this particular GSI model is a six cup, but it also comes in a three cup, a nine cup, and a 12 cup, so you have a lot of variation on the sizes. It's made out of their pretty ultra rugged glacier stainless steel. The stainless steel is very thick gauged. It's basically a marine grade stainless steel and is really corrosion resistant. Something you really want because you're gonna be using this out on the trail, in camp, whatever it might be. It has a little knob, okay, that's made out of resin on top. That's the perk knob, and it allows you to really control what kind of coffee and how dark it is, you can watch the percolation, see exactly when the coffee is dark enough for you. It has a silicone handle that's very nice because it stays cool to the touch, so as soon as your coffee's ready, you can just pour it right into your cup. It has a hinged lid, which is nice, not a separating lid so you won't lose it, drop it somewhere, and walk away from it somewhere in the woods and have to go back and get it later. The dimensions of this particular model, which is again the six cup, is basically eight inches by five inches, by six and a half inches. And it weighs one and a quarter pounds, or basically 20 ounces. That is how a coffee percolator works. That's about this coffee percolator. Now let's percolate some coffee. Man, there are few things that smell as good as coffee, especially percolated coffee. If you've never had coffee from a percolator, you really should. It's like the most classic way to make coffee. It's actually the most popular way to make coffee here in the United States. I would suggest giving it a try. As you can see, once the water starts percolating, it starts off obviously very clear. And the more you percolate it and the more you let that water cycle through the beans, the darker and the stronger it will be. Just experiment with what kind of timing you want. I usually let mine percolate for five to eight minutes. It gives me a nice medium to strong roast, which is the way that I like it. I think this model is really well made. There are a lot of different percolators out there. I've used a lot of GSI products in the past and that's the main reason that I bought this particular model. I do like the fact that it comes in a lot of different sizes and I'm curious about the three cup model because that's small enough to really take with you on the trail. A couple other things that I like about it are just how sturdy it is made. The stainless steel is excellent. You can smush it down in your pack and not worry at all about getting bent or anything like that. The hinged lid is nice so you won't lose the lid. 
These are the little things that people like GSI think about because they go outdoors as well. I also really like its compact footprint. A lot of other uh, percolators out there are much bigger and broader. The handles stick out farther. This handle is nice and sleek. And from the standpoint of a percolator, I think it's about as compact as you can make it. The only thing that I wish it came with and my only gripe to GSI would be send it with a carrying case. It'd be nice to have some kind of a nylon stuff sack or carrying case for it to fit inside of. That way when you do pack it up, it's not so much about hurting it, but about scratching or hurting other gear in your backpack that may be exposed to some of the sharper edges and stuff like that. Other than that, I think it's a great product. So if you found this video searching for a review about this coffee percolator, I want to tell you that I have an entire playlist just about coffee detailing lots of different ways to make coffee, lots of different products, especially outdoor products to make coffee, different types of coffee, instant coffee, taste testing, and stuff like that. I really suggest you check out the coffee playlist. I will put a link down below. Do me a favor, if you like this video and you did find this, give it a thumbs up down below. It really helps spread this video across YouTube, helps our channels grow. And if you like the content and wanna see more coffee videos in the future, along with other great outdoor stuff, hit the subscribe button. If you're feeling a little crazy today and you wanna make sure you never miss one of my videos, Hit the little ding-dong bell, and you will be the first to know. It's a beautiful day here in Louisiana, off work today and on call this weekend. Thought I'd come out and shoot a quick video about this percolator. Really like it. I tried it out the last couple of days, actually making coffee in the house. Something a little bit different. Worked very well. Coincidentally, I do have an induction cooktop, and of course, since it's stainless steel, it works just fine. Really appreciate all the support out there from everybody. Cannot thank you enough for all the views and the likes and the comments. That really, really helps the channel out continues to grow, gaining more subscribers. Really enjoy putting these videos together for you guys. So stay tuned for more videos soon here on Paleo Hiker MD.